Howdy fellow Submation peeps. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little off the beaten path. Uh, custom laser cut, um, their grad printable picture frames. Look like they're cut out of like uh, quarter inch unisub material. Um, really clean. They come with this nice little uh, almost like easel backing pedestal thing that you, that you put on after you sub it. Um, but we're going to go through the process of subbing this. Um, I know I'm probably a little late to the train on this. But at least at least now you'll know how to do it and you can start selling these next year they're very hot items at least this year they were um so without further ado we'll go ahead and jump right on into it all right guys let's go ahead and get this measured um it looks like these are about a little bit over six wide and a little bit over seven tall so we're going to call it uh six and an eighth by seven and an eighth and these letters take up um a little bit over an inch right at an inch so we'll, we'll budget for that in our template that way we we know to center um to like center the individual basically on like right here centered along that uh, that area and just disregard the grad and just have it bleed nicely over into it All right, guys, we know from the measurements, we're going to go ahead and set up the template in Adobe Photoshop. And we know that it's going to be six and an eighth wide, so 6.125, which is six and an eighth. And then seven and an eighth is uh, 7.125, 300 DPI. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you do CMYK or RGB. It's going to output roughly the same anyway. So we'll go ahead and create that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drag our photo over. Actually, let's do this first because we know we know there's roughly an inch for lettering, so we're gonna go ahead and do an inch and an eighth. And this guideline is gonna represent kind of our uh, kind of our space. And we're gonna try to center. We're gonna try to center her right on, like between this section right here and this section. So technically, we can make her a little bit smaller even if we want to do the thirds composition rule. Actually. Let's do something just like this. Like that's gonna be really nice. Like that's gonna be perfect. And the reason we're doing our off center is because the lettering is gonna go over here and it's gonna be like incomplete looking. And it's it's gonna look we're gonna try to center her on the actual piece itself. And the lettering is gonna be cut out right here. They're right at an inch wide. Um, in addition, I'm not I'm not too thrilled with the way the curves are on this. Let's see, the Photoshop auto curves give it a little extra. You can see what they do. They they take the grays and make them make them more vivid. We're also going to do some uh, some brightness contrast adjustments. Let's see what Photoshop automatically does for us. Whew. I don't know about that Photoshop. Oh uh, yeah. I mean it's not wrong. We're going to brighten it up a little bit because you know how things like to get darker during sublimation. So we're going to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, we're also going to do uh, curves. We're going to see what auto curves give us. I don't think I agree with Photoshop on that. I think the darkers do need to be darker. But at the same time, I think there's something to be said. Getting that a little closer to the curve. And then giving the red a little pop by doing that. And I think that is perfect. This is my baby girl, by the way, y'all. That's my best bud. So we're going from this. And you can see, like, there's some... Like, if you look at the colors, just look at the colors here. The red's kind of flat. The skin doesn't really pop versus when you do a couple of minor adjustments. It just, like, her, the definition in the hair looks better and everything. Like, look at that. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and print this. We're printing a premium presentation mat. Um, yep. We gotta switch this back to eight and a half by eleven though. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going and we'll go ahead and print it. Uh the one thing you should know about these, they have a plastic film on them. Um they take a little work to get, but but easy enough, right? 
We're slowly getting it. Fingernails, not really my best deal. And I'm trying to avoid fingerprinting it or leaving any residue on it as I'm doing it. Our press is preheated to, uh, let me make sure I get all this real quick. I can continue talking. Can't do two things at once, my guys. Uh, our press is preheated to 375 degrees, and we're going to be trying to press these at around, around 70 seconds. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, see if we can get this taped. Yeah. Make sure it's on my right. This is where I'm going to want um, a corner hanging off. We're just going to try to put a minimal amount of tape on there. We're going to try to put like one in each corner. Give or take. We're going to get them lined up. Like in a corner. We're going to put some tape on it. No. Nope. Not happy with that. Got a little bit of space showing. There we go. Yeah. So now you see, you can see that there's a sliver of artwork showing on all edges. And that's what you want to see. So we're gonna go ahead and put our, uh, put our paper down. We're gonna go ahead and tape this edge too. Because why not? We're just going to put a tape piece of tape right there. And also another one on the D down here. Just roll the tape over. Don't get too serious with it. And we're putting butcher paper, a piece of regular paper. We're putting our substrate down. We're going to put another piece of paper. And we're going to put our blowout paper, which is butcher paper. And we're going to be pressing these at 375 for around 70 seconds. And that's way too much pressure. Back it off. Too much pressure. And that's pretty heavy pressure. Um, and once again, remember to take the plastic off. Otherwise, you're going to have a really bad time. All right, guys, we have about 10 seconds left. We're going to one glove this. As you can tell, my finger's gotten burnt before on my toaster oven. So we're just going to one glove it. That way I have one to strip off tape. So we're just going to put this over here out the way. Something smells like burning plastic. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off and see exactly what we got. Oh, man. Look at that. That's insane. These things turn out great. <laughs> it's funny how the, uh, the poles line up on that. The little poles that... Uh, that, that makes it look like it's a mistake, even though it's not. Uh, we'll go ahead and let this cool, and we'll do a final put-together. Uh, now that we're cold and everything, we can go ahead and flip it over. And we can go ahead and put this on there. Uh, don't overcomplicate putting this double-sided tape piece on. Just line up the bottom, roughly center. And just push it on. Don't overcomplicate it. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And there we go. Beautiful product. Absolutely beautiful product. 
Once again, shout out to Special Moments Crafting Blanks for, uh, for getting these to us. It's pretty amazing. All right, guys, another project in the books. Um, this one turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, once again, want to thank uh, Special Moments Crafting Blanks for, uh, for getting this to us. Um, it was not a sponsored video. I bought one because I genuinely wanted to do it. Um, and it's this thing's absolutely amazing. As if it's not unisub, if it's not a unisub surface, I don't know what it is, but they did a really good job on it. The laser cutting's perfect. Uh, the blank itself's nice. Like everything about it's great. The little easel on back's a nice touch. Like everything's really good. Makes me really happy that uh, this one's for my wife. So, so if, if she's happy, everybody's happy. So. Uh, until the next one, guys, uh, if, if you like the type of content, feel free to subscribe and like the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.